Ladies and gentlemen, now with today's global update, we got season four of the Tower of Trials, and this is by far the most accessible season, because usually in every single season, there's a rule that takes out like demons or pierce cards or like this mechanic. However, this season, man, pretty much everything is game. So there's so much stuff that works really, really well. You can go for a bursty team, an Estorosa counter team, a full human team, various combinations of like Sario, Arthur, Lost Vein, the one on Escanor. Uh, so yeah, there's a crazy amount of stuff that's going to work very, very well. But also importantly, as we mentioned yesterday in the news video, it's a really good tower to attempt the 3 SR Floor 25 achievement. So this is where you do the final boss with one SSR character. And the best character, at least in my experience today, man, is Lost Vey Meliodas. He is crazy for that final stage. And we'll talk about some of the reasons. And also you need 3 SR characters. So be sure not to bring in any other SSRs or R characters if you want to attempt this achievement. Again, it's entirely up to you, but it does um, uh, bring you one step closer uh, to getting the 4% additional health title when you use health food. So yeah, in the bigger picture of things, like it's a really good title to have for the future, uh, but it's not absolutely necessary. So if you are struggling, again, don't force yourself to do this. If you're a progressing player, maybe this is your first tower. But again, if you do have a fully decked out Lost Vein Meliodas, 2-6 uh, with the cosmetics on my free to play, worked an absolute charm when we did it first time we used Lost Vein. But yeah, He's really, really good for the final stage. But generally speaking, on my free-to-play account, I went for... Um uh, the combination of Sariel, the green PV Arthur that everybody should have free from the event a couple of weeks ago. Uh, also Halloween Gotha and Death Pierce on the sub. This one is absolutely ridiculous for this tower, man. Literally, I swear about like 80% of uh, uh, floors below uh, 25, man. We just killed in like a single turn. Like upgrade Sariel Cleave and then like Arthur Cleave as well. Like pretty much everything's dead. And I think that this tower damage isn't really an issue if you've got a decent setup so for the majority of people death pierce is really good on the sub just because again he's going to give you like a nice additional chunk of damage output because he lowers crit resistance and also increases um uh, your crit damage as well, but if you are struggling with staying alive, the red SR Liz is really good on the sub, because at the start of your turn, every turn, she's going to give you a nice chunky heal there. If you're looking to ult rush with certain characters, again, green Merlin can be quite nice. If you're looking for more health-related stats, a 10% bonus, and again, this can be very nice for, like, lifesteal as well for certain characters. Uh, green Liz Hawk is not bad on the sub. If you're looking to boost up, like, red characters, maybe running, like, a, uh, uh, Sariel Lost Vein team and you don't have Death Pierce or upgraded for whatever reason. Again, Red Jericho can work nicely. If you've got a more green focused team, maybe Jillian on the sub uh, for additional survivability if you do need it. Or if you've got a more red focused team and you need more survivability, more hit points, Twiggo. Again, there are lots of ways you can go with the sub depending on what you need and what you like to run. Uh, but really, Death Pierce for damage. And I would say... Um, uh, Liz for healing are kind of the core uh, two to go for for this tower, at least in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, first up, you got the Sario Arthur team. Uh, but instead of Sario, you can also run Lost Vein Man. Again, Lost Vein being a demon and Arthur being a human, they both trigger Green Gotha's passive. And again, if you don't have uh, Green Gotha, the Red one works perfectly fine. You can have a little bit less damage overall. Uh, but yeah, still going to be absolutely fine for this tower. Um, and yeah, you can also use. Uh, if you are going to run the um, uh, the red in comparison to green, like Arthur and also the one Eskinor can be a really good combo because you don't need characters of like different races on the front line as well. Uh, so yeah, just something to potentially keep in mind there as well. Uh, again, you can use the combination of Lost Vein in the one, very good team there. Sario on the one with Halloween Gotha, fantastic as well. Pierce works really, really nicely for this tower. So if you've got Mega Rugal, uh, Blue Dean Meliodas, Lilia, going to work out perfectly there. You can also potentially put Red Liz on the sub. Death Pierce isn't as needed in the Pierce team. Helps out Blue D Melly a bit, but Mega Rugal uh, doesn't really need it. Also, one character, again, if you are like free to play, a bit of a budget, a bit of a new player that's just going to, um, 
absolutely smack is Estorosa, man. You can get green Estorosa in the coin shop, red Gotha via the new banner, and also in the coin shop as well. Uh, so yeah, that's potentially the team to go for if you're like a progressing player, super budget, and hopefully as well, you picked up the green Arthur that was available a week and a bit ago with the one Escanor debut event. Uh, and if you got this team, man, you got like a massive damage increase, massive damage mitigation, and you're absolutely chilling. And again, if you want more damage, definitely on the sub but if you find you need more survivability and healing uh the red liz is the way to go there uh, but also going a little bit further down one thing you can potentially do as well uh, is run green arthur alongside blue d meliodas and lilia so that could be um a way to like beef up your blue Dean melee a little bit more and also have an additional cleave damage card with Arthur there. Again, Arthur's so versatile in terms of the teams that you can build him on in PvE. So yeah, it could work out very, very nicely. Uh, also, you know, if you want to, the one Escanor and blue Dean Meliodas, not a bad combo for this one as well. If you need more survivability, you could potentially put Marmus on the sub or use the, uh, the blue SR Jericho. Uh, so yeah, there's a few things you can do depending on what you need or just use like red liz on the back if you do find yourself in need of um uh, more healing. You could also use like a standard Blue Eater team with Lost Fane, Goddess Liz, and also Gotha. Uh, if you need a bit more survivability, again, this tower, the damage in comparison to previous towers, is nowhere near as bad. But if you do find yourself needing kind of that additional mitigation, again, Goddess Liz is absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, if you did summon on the Roxy banner, you enjoy your humans. Four human teams should work out really, really nicely here. But one of the biggest things you do want to take advantage of, especially in the next um uh, what is it? Week is uh, is the food that's available via the festival event. Now we're a little bit unsure as to what's coming on global. Um, kind of after next week, it might be like the Mark II Valenti event, or it might be Assault Meliodas, and we might roll into another festival. In which case, we maintain the food and also get access to more. But I would heavily suggest you doing the tower in the first week while this food is active, man, because the minus forty percent damage damage taken food is so incredibly good and if you want to do the um uh, the three SR team challenge on the final floor. Again, this is going to be like near essential to make it a very easy time because if you don't have this, then it's going to be so much more dependent on like RNG and your Lost Fame Meliodas not dying. So if you want to get that achievement done, man, make sure you do it before the next patch next Tuesday. Uh, and yeah, get stuck in as soon as you possibly can. But one of the massive perks about this tower as well is you don't need to lock in your team. So with this how we've got the new JP format where every single floor you can change your team. So if something isn't working out, you now have the constant option to change up your strategy depending on what's working and what's not working. Uh, so yeah, that is a really, really good change that happened on JP, uh, I think around like season six. So to already have it on season four on global is amazing, man. It's going to make this season so much easier for a lot of people. And also the next season as well, the Fairy King season, uh, that one is going to be a lot easier easier thanks to this change so i'm very very happy to see uh, that that feature got fast track to global because honestly man it makes tower so much easier in comparison uh but anyway let's talk about the sr teams as well so again this is if you're looking to get the four percent additional bonus health when using health food title the tower of trials conqueror and again lost vein is the best character to go for at least in my opinion on the free to play account i use lost vein meliodas arthur erin and also Liz in the back, and this means Lost Fane is constantly targeted um, uh, first turn by two of the units. He then gets upgraded, and then you can rush alt turn two. Uh, even with two six alt, man, we managed to do it. If you got six six, literally, you're going to KO like turn two with this team. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as long as you've like built out your Lost Fane, it should work pretty damn nicely. But anyway, let's go over to that kill video, and I'll show you what I mean. So this was my team and run on the live stream on my free to play account, so not the whale account. So we got two six Lost Fane. We made sure to use the forty percent damage reduction food uh you can see arthur is four star super awakened erin is only one star and liz is no star super awakened uh but i do have health sets on both arthur and also erin because the thing is you just want to keep like everybody alive as long as they possibly can uh just because like lost Fane is the the character that is really carrying the kill here so just something to keep in mind as well uh so yeah this is my very first try with the um 
uh, the Lost Vein team. And again, this is by far the easiest final boss in tower that we've seen so far. So you got Slater and two of his goons. And again, if you don't want to do this like three SR, uh, one SSR achievement, um, then yeah, it's like really, really easy to do with various like top meta teams that we've covered in today's video. But you see they crit like crazy because of Slater's... Um, uh, passive, which is reducing our crit resistance, so it means Lost Vein's like very easy to get upgraded, and even without Merlin on the sub, we've got the play now uh, to use both of the Lost Vein cards and move once, and that's going to give us the ult next turn, but you need to make sure, if you are going for something slightly different with three SR characters, um, that you make sure, um, if you've got another red character on the front line, that Lost Vein always has the lowest health, because they're always going to attack the character with even neutral or advantage with the lowest health there so just something to keep in mind if you do go for like a um uh what is it uh, full red defense team so you might need to remove um you know certain pieces or cosmetics but ideally you don't really want to do that so that's why for the free to play i really enjoyed this blue one just because that secures like two attacks into lost vein um and yeah it just works out really really well so this time we got lost vein zolt again on the free to play my lost vein is only two six so he doesn't have all of the firepower here i was a little bit sweating over the damage taken man you see we get like a nice little heal up from liz um uh, but yeah, if this was like my 6-6 Lost Vein on the Whale account, dude, we just wiping the whole squad here. Uh, but this did get a, a little bit dicey at some points, but it really wasn't too bad. So we fire off the ult here. We've got a gold card to follow up as well, so we can cleave down the... Um uh, what is it left hand side but also we didn't get the luckiest potential draw at the start because the luckiest draw is that what is it one in six chance that you draw an additional lost vein cleave card at the start so first turn then you can just like you know golden cleave golden cleave golden single target and then you're at four alt gauge you're fully topped up as well and everybody is minced down so yeah if you line that up well can work out very very nicely but again sometimes it is about getting a little bit lucky here uh, so yeah, we got Golden Cleave, single target, uh, and then just finish off there. So here as well, because Arthur, um, he maybe should have had an attack set in all fairness, but he didn't quite finish off the job here, which was slightly unfortunate. But even if... Um, what is it? Slater killed Lost Vein here, which he didn't. Then, yeah, we could still finish off the job here. Because one of the really good things about this tower is none of the bosses have revive. So, yeah, even if it was just like Arthur and Eren at this point, man, they could have easily finished off the fight there. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for that tower and kind of how to do the uh, the three SR challenge. But make sure that it's three SR and you don't go lower than that. So, you don't want to be bringing in like Twiggo, for example, or any characters of our rarity uh make sure that there are three sr characters and one ssr if you do want to get that achievement to go toward the title and again if you're looking to find your um uh, progress on the title as well if you go to player info and then title and then go to change you'll see it fairly toward the bottom here uh so yeah i actually uh, haven't done like a couple of additional achievements i haven't done the first time this is where you need to die like twice on the first floor and this one as well if you're looking to get that one done is die 20 times on the final floor and again these two can be done pretty much in any season uh but the really difficult one is this one which is clear the final floor with three starting grade SR heroes. This is the one that you can't do every single season, man. Because again, some of the bosses are really, really tricky to do... Um... Uh, you know, even with a full team of SSRs. So it's a really good uh, tower to take advantage of the fact that, you know, you do have the easiest final boss of all of them. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy today's breakdown. And if you did, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.